Enjoying Mega Man Legends? Get episodes 30 days early at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Now, watch some footage of Ted eating one of his favorite snacks, pickled cockles. Hello, everyone. Once again, we are Black Mega Man. Hi. Black what's, Man. What's up? You guys enjoying the game so far? I love this game. You talking to me or you talking to the audience? Talking to everyone. You guys, the audience. I know Ted loves the game. He's enjoying it, right, Ted? That's right. I'm charmed. That's right, I'm, Gerard. I'm, thanks, Ted. That was pretty good. <laughs> I'm charmed by this game. I'm looking forward to seeing more new enemy types. Yeah. Uh, so while we were in the, during the break, uh, while we were, it's been a whole new recording session. It's been one break since we've seen this game. Uh, I went ahead and I uh, farmed more kicking the can and I became even darker Mega Man. So, so now you actually get more and more dirt because you think it's because you're playing with trash. No idea. Yeah. Is this some sort of like fucked up social commentary going on? No clue. The more you recycle, the dirtier you as a person become. I was going the opposite direction. It's like the more you play with trash, the more impoverished you are. You're probably black. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. That's what I, want. That's what I, I think Gerard is I saying. I did not say I that. I don't think there's any Can notion. Can you clarify, Gerard? I don't think there's any that? notion uh, of that. What I meant man. by that is that, welcome back to Mega Man Legends, everyone. I'm Gerard. That's Brett. <laughs> that's Alex. Hi. Hey. We are entering our first real dungeon in the game. Can you turn it down a little bit, please? Oh, Rolls. I don't have the remote. Oh. oh, no, it's there by the PlayStation. Oh. Roll is like coming to us from the MacBook speakers from 2006 right now. Yep. <laughs> is the refractor shield? <laughs> Rolls on the milkshake drive through delivery here. machine. You'll have to look for the control console and deactivate. Your order is number 17. Thank you. Pull up to the next window. I mean, yeah, essentially. I would go to a Mega Man themed fast food restaurant. Mega Man. So like if he's like the, the Whopper, what do yeah. you call it? The Rock Burger? Ooh. What about the Mega Burger? Yeah, you're yeah. Like if we're here, we ain't going yeah, to the Rock. No, you're right. You're like you're no. like going after the you're hip Right! You're fucking right. <laughs> Alright, so then that means uh what do you think? They're called? a side of rushes? Like are those the fries? Rush fries? Rush, Rush fries. Dot fries. fries. There has to be there has to be some kind of clever Fries, Does mega fries? No, because I want to incorporate the crew. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. dude, zero, z zero uh, rock fries, zero calorie sodas, but it's like zero, zero. Yeah, I assume zero That's would it. be like the chicken sandwich. Oh yeah, it's the healthy option, like the grilled chicken. Yeah, like a, a crispy zero. You what about I mean? the beet biscuit? Ooh, I feel like, that's a good one. But see, I was going for like the roll, right? But it's like, I don't think they would have a roll. If it was the, in UK. Mm -hmm. UK Mega Burger has got the, the sausage roll and it's literally roll. Okay, these guys are cool. They look like tiny building, like tiny skyscrapers that are ninja stars. That's accurate. Hell yeah. And something about, I say something about, but I know exactly what it is. I don't know why I say it. You guys ready for this guy? Yeah, he's leaping. Oh, get fucked. Something about what? I appreciate the atmospheres that came as a result of the processing limitations of the original PlayStation. Yes, yes, it's very much. how fucking much. dark it is. You the know textures what I mean? are so wacky on PlayStation. I love I'm, like, I'm talking about the light, like just the, uh, the shadows. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, even that too. Things seemed creepier back then, not only because we were taking our first steps into the Candy Valley that was 3D graphics and shit. But also just because, like, you know, like, remember games like Nightmare Creatures and shit? Dude, and yeah. Silent Hill, like, you would take four steps. Like, you couldn't see four steps ahead of you. Like you Fog know? of War vibes. Like, yeah. limitation of the technology. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, very that, much yeah. like that space. Like, you see an alien that's scary from, like, a space transmission vibe. Because you can't see everything. So it's, like, five times scarier. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, 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 I think one of the scariest things, it's not an alien jump scaring you right in your face. It's when there's something at the end of the hallway and you're not sure if what you're looking at is a thing or not. And you, it's the moment of yeah. going, is that a fucking thing? You that one I mean? time when I sat out in front of that party for like an hour looking at like bushes because I thought it was like a creature exactly. and had my buddy come look at it. Yeah. That's why, that's the reason I saw fucking Hereditary twice in theaters. Woo! I saw Hereditary once. I don't know if like, you know, just like, I'll check it out. And then I said, no, 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 no. Like, we gotta go. We have to go back because there's literally three, maybe four shots in that film that are worth the price of admission. Yeah. Alone. 
unsettling, like not even like scary in the way you probably think when you're going to go see a horror movie. And I'll explain exactly in the way what it's scary. It's scary in what we were just talking about. Yeah. Where you go like, is that fucking, you know what I mean? This is wrong. Is I don't know enough right? about this. Is that yeah. Fucking thing out there? The fuck is that? Is that a fucking thing? That like it actually happened to Pat and I once. You also were involved with some. You stuck Satan's your head out the window Satan and uh, and Pat's head went. <laughs> yep. We uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, we shouldn't say this. We were like, we got high, and we were just. Wait, 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 wait! wait. You've done drugs. Ted, we high in life. Ted, we have to talk about your employment here at the company. Ted, no, I love this because Ted's hair right now is bleach blonde. He's wearing a Pizza Planet t-shirt. <laughs> That's like faded. It's really great. He made like T-Rex arms when you said Pizza Planet too. <laughs> he's, st he's still making those T-Rex. Ted, dude. your mother is listening to this. Ma Mama Coonrad. It's All right, okay. so, so you, were Ted, you and Pat were getting high. What happened? We, we were just going to like go chill at a bar after that. Uh, mm -hmm. And we, we were just oh. in a like neighborhood. And we saw this window. And we were like, is that a person or a globe mm. on the dresser? Mm. And we we're like, mm. it's gotta be a globe. We're high. It's gotta be a globe. <laughs> and we kept looking at it, and we're like, yeah, it's too still. It's gotta be a globe. Mm. And that globe was like, what are you boys doing? Mm. Yeah, comes outside. My name's Rand McNally. Even worse, <laughs> even worse. Like 10 or 20 minutes later, it was gone. <gasps> dun, dun. Uh, Who moved that globe? No, it was like actually a person. The globe Just opened its mouth. At the globe opened its mouth and it had teeth and like its eyes lit up. Ah, that's what's in the world. And then like, Pat was gone. In our world is just a bunch of fucking big teeth. Yeah. Stalactites. Yeah. Dude, you guys, I think about that all like, the time. Who's Pat? Yeah. Is this ice, bro, or just like crumbling platform? It's energy crystals? Drug? Um, I don't remember. Okay. I think I want to say it's a just a it's ice. So okay. what? Let's what? Ice. Why ice did you pull an old doll out of the wall? It's just random collectibles. Like you know how roll can like turn stuff into turn stuff, stuff into stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Okay, follow up question. Mm. Why did you pull roll doll out of the wall? <laughs> old doll. No, roll doll. <laughs> roll put them in there doll. for a reason. The twits. BFG. You know, James and the Giant Preach. Charlie and the Chalk Factory. Ah uh, yes. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you pull them out? We put them in there for a reason. We cask of a multiliato the We put him in this put him in there to double up in this on our literary. 32 bit today. yes low texture, low res texture. Do, do. Same thing to be said about the low res textures on PlayStation, do, do, by the way. Do, 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 in terms of technical limitations. Like, full circle. I was playing Glover with Kelly on PlayStation the other day and she was like bummed by it because it like doesn't look like Glover. <laughs> what do you mean? Like it like the Nintendo 64 one runs real nice and the uh, and Glover on PlayStation is like grimy. Yeah, but you know, this was a weird era, right? Where like depending like on which of the metal. two consoles you had, things will run real different. Yeah. Like today, you have to have a whole YouTube channel to like tell those differences between two versions on Xbox or PS4 yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Correct. And but back then it was like, oh no, that's the N64 version. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Ooh. Resident Evil on N64. E. Yee. No, it's literally a technical achievement to imagine that somebody put Resident Evil 2 on an N64. That's true. It is fucking fucked up. It's like impossible. I don't know how they did that. It has like talking. I don't know. What this game on N64 is is another is one. Crazy. Impossible. How the fuck did they do that? It has talking. Magic. Magic. I don't know how they did StarCraft on N64. Star Fox. Mm. Star Fox has talking too. Star dun, StarCraft. Dun, dun, it just sucks on N64 though. Mm, yeah. dun, 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 but like, but like, Star Fox has talking, but the game's like ten seconds long. No, oh, yeah. You already cleared out this room, right? Yeah, I'm just going back for sure. He's bridging it out. I messed up. This, you know, this reminds me of like those vines on the wall. It reminds me of the Chalice Dungeon from Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. The Chalice. That is such, that is such a good type of multiplayer. Sorry? I'm sorry. Yeah, please yeah, explain. Like the idea of what the chalice dungeons are of like being able to just kind of like get like exchange seeds. Question of the day. Do you consider that multiplayer as of now? I don't. That's true. I mean, but like I, here's here, the reason I call you're it talking about like the experiences are intertwined to other people. The, yeah. The, well, the reason I call it multiplayer is because it's like it's not the same as like PVP sure. synchronous multiplayer, obviously. But like, sure. for example, I played Dragon Quest nine, which it makes it a little bit more clear because it's on DS. And so it's it's like a little bit more like yes. random number generator type shit. Mm -hmm. But people would share codes online for like good seeds so that you could get yeah. like good items. And it was kind of like a community effort to like, I get what, yeah. you're, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like as soon as you explain, like, yeah, I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a strictly multiplayer, but I just think it's a neat way of doing it. That's like less weird than the like 
Are we playing co-op, bro? I don't know. Is that you? Are you here? Okay, this is this is a bit of a risk, but I'm I'm hoping that I'm hoping that this is what I think it is. All right. What do you mean? We just got an item that I'm going to go take to roll, and if it's if it gives me the item I want, mm -hmm. your god tier, it's going to be very fun. It was called the spring set. Correct. So what the hell is a spring set? You're about to find out, Brett. Oh, wow. A little anticipation. You know when Mario oh, goes inside that spring, yeah. he flies a around. More conversation, please. <laughs> a little anticipation, a little less action. <laughs> a little oh, less man. talking, a little more thinking, a little more anxiety, a little less comfort, a little bit of that. A <laughs> lot more really. waiting, lots less bait. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wait around now. <laughs> Take a break. Go online and read an article. It's not yeah. by an expert, but it's available. <laughs> 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 Ta-da! The grenade. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Why was that what song so popular in like 2005? And it's an Elvis song. Here's the thing, man. <gasps> yes, it's a, it's a banger. Oh. Yes, a banger. Said, double jump or high jump? High jump. Oh, that's a big deal, yeah, for sure. And when I say high jump, I mean oh, high like, jump. Like Virtual Fighter One jump. Maybe. Yes, okay. it's very, very large. <laughs> My jump. That's a large He's jump. Very brother. large. I have a very large jump. Not a high jump, bro. It's a large That's a jump. jump. I bend the it's leg. English, you were. It's a very large jump. I <laughs> bend the leg. I straighten it out. It's large. It's a large <laughs> jump. It's like you've mastered ninety six percent of English. I do. <laughs> There's just some words that I just don't know how to pronounce. It's a large jump. You know, large. Like there's no accent. You know what I mean? It's no. it's, it's, it's I got it from my father. It's, it's what a it is. large jump. Yes. It's like when my mom's like, <laughs> baby, close the light. <laughs> right. Yes. My dad, my dad for the longest time screwed a lot of us kids in the way of uh like telling us the wrong idioms of American like sure. catchphrases. Sure. And so we always would be like, you know, like the you know, is it do me a favor? Yeah. yeah. My dad would say, make me a favor. I say Adam. Mm. Yeah. And my uh, and I always got made fun of because I'd say make me a favor. And everyone's like, make you a favor? <laughs> like, yeah, make me a favor. Like a noisemaker, sure. bro? Woo! Uh, I went to grade school. Yeah. That one was had like a big. <laughs> oh my God. Was, I wouldn't say it's predominantly <laughs> Belizean people. Okay. But it had it's a, a large, large population of Belizean. Belizean school? Large jump. No. But just like in the neighborhood. And just like, yeah, just like an like ethnic neighborhood, basically. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of Belizean families that went to that school. Yeah. A lot of the teachers, Belizean descent. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of the things that always bugged me, I never brought it up, really. But like, let's say like there'd be like a backpack sitting on the floor. And then you, if you wanted to find out who's like, who does this belong to? Yeah. Who like you would hold it up and say to the group of kids, what would you say? Who left this here? Right. So, or you would also say like, who's is this? Exactly. Yeah. Who's is this? You're right. <laughs> like a one or two of the ladies instead would they would hold up the backpack and go who is this for <laughs> <laughs> which is like not incorrect it's not wrong, it's not it's wrong but technically it's not right either it's close enough to like get you by and then you like learn it that way you're and on a film set <laughs> yeah. yeah and uh yeah I remember always being like <laughs> whoa weird, weird stuff also yeah that was a lot of money 10,000 bucks that's the dream, right? Dude, if I found $10,000 $10, in the wall, if I, if I like went to the bathroom here and found $10,000 in the wall, I would immediately stuff it in my pants and then be like, I have to go. I'd be like a professional geocacher if that was what was Dude, like on the table. No country for old men changed me. Like, I don't want to pick up random money anymore. Oh, so you're saying before you would? Yeah. You thought that you, because you're worried that Anton Sugar is going to come and blast your yeah. brain with a cow, with a cow gun. I'm like... He did great jobs at like masking his trail. Yeah, m smarter than I could. So you, you, so you're done with the fantasy of finding hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. I like that it took that movie to teach you not to do some silly shit like that. <laughs> Take. Do you realize what he did at the beginning was go through a field of dead bodies and like, yeah. and like, within five minutes he got chased into the water by a kill dog that he murdered, and then he was like, "I'm keeping this. I'm going home." <laughs> Ted, how much have you ever wagered on the coin toy? <laughs> but I mean, like, I've played so many video games that I'm like, oh, I'm looting. That's, see, that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, this so from, that this from the same mouth. motherfucker that's like, oh, uh, a lion is trying to eat me? Let me shove my arms down his throat. Yeah, where's Joe Lieberman at? Let's get him back in, in, involved. Is what? Joe Lieberman alive still? 
The Liebs? Joe Lieberman? Joe anti-video games Lieberman? Oh, he's still doing his thing. Joe the Enforcer? Lieberman? He really wanted to make sure that we knew that guns were not good for kids. I mean, that's true. Honestly, I can't fault him there. Right. But he's actually right in that way, but... Wrong argument in the wrong oh, direction. Man, in I the hands know. of good kids, though. That's true. The only thing that stops a bad kid... Is a bad gun? A good kid. Uh, is uh, spanking. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. With a gun. Yes. With a bullet. Spank wi pistol whipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But when you spank a kid, it's pistol whooping. You yeah, know what I mean? Yes, 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 like yes, you get a pistol whooping. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandma used to hit me with the heel of a shotgun. What? No. 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 Yeah. No. Bits? It's a bit. Okay. No, no, no. She that's real. She Bits of a that. shotgun. She didn't used to do that. She used to shoot me with the front. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was birdshot, not buckshot. No, yeah. She'd make me an eggy cheesy, and then she'd shoot me in the face with a shotgun. An eggy cheesy, <laughs> and then crazy, follow dude. up with the headshot. <laughs> she was crazy, dude. <laughs> This is your grandma? It was worth it though. That yeah. egg and cheesy was real good. It was she, good. She, she used the craft single on there. She, she cut the sausage just right. The hot dog. She really loved little, the like McRib. fried hard and everything. Yeah, it was she nice. put she put the hot dog flat so that you get more surface area. But then she'd blast me right in the face with a shotgun afterwards. So right. it, was it wasn't really a surprise. Like you knew it was coming. No, I did, but it was a mixed bag, and I you know, <laughs> I choose to remember the good rather than the bad. Right. <laughs> miss you, grandma. I miss you, dude. <laughs> McRib took her out finally. You lit up all three pagodas. <sighs> it's another energy bear. Did you know that Abe Pagoda finally died? <laughs> Do you see a switch in there nearby? <laughs> Just Japanese Abe Pagoda. Abe Pagoda. Who's that? Oh. Just a chalice. That's it. I thought that was like a little baby Groot. Everything's either baby Groot or baby Yoda to me. I don't know. Everything's just baby. I just can't. I'm like, is that a baby version of a character that I know? Must be. <laughs> I see it. I'm like, that's small. <laughs> nice drum set you're shooting. You do the same thing with dogs. We're like, oh, dogs are babies. Is, it a, is there a baby Mega Man? Mega Boy. Mega Man powered Mega up Boy. for the PSP. <laughs> Mega Man powered up. That's true. That's like Chibi. You know what? Did we just discover Chibi with Mandalorian as like a culture? No, <laughs> we didn't. Like, <laughs> like no, I'm serious. Like, we people have like always adored, you know, shrinking things down. Like, think about Funko Pops, dude. You're right. In the '80s, we had the babies. We, craze most, too. we hate those though. Muppets babies, right? You, we, people we, don't hate Funko Pops, right? Right? We hate them. Question of the day: Do you hate Funko intellectuals? Pops? Hate Funko Pops? I mean, I th tell that to like. <laughs> Dude, the, tell that to all the people buying Funko Pops silently. And I'm not the yourself. look. I'm not the judge of everybody's money and time, but I'll right. tell you what I think of Funko Pops, which is that they're soulless and anti like interestingness. I so mean, tippy. If you can deal with that, keep buying your tippy, weird tippy. Keep, keep buying your weird statue. You know what I mean? I don't care. You can go do it. This is not a threat Yo, to you. This that gif of Mega Man. Ted, play that back. That's me all the time. He looks so tan. Black Mega Man. Oh, we black men. See, because I don't see a That's color. We we black men. Yeah, we black men. I just thought that was no, regular. No, you know what the episode's man. called mm. Ted. Call this episode Steve Blackman. Steve motherfucker the, Blackman. The lethal weapon. Steve Shh. Blackman, the lethal weapon. What yeah, is dude. that? It's a wrestler. Oh, I don't know. Steve Blackman. Yeah, those, what do they call a scream mistakes? Yeah, and then he would come with the fucking. What is that? Quadriga kick to people's chests. <laughs> what scream mistakes? Escrima. Escrima. Yeah. Like crime sticks? Yeah. Yeah. Like what are you talking about? What yeah, like Nightwing sticks. Yeah, Nightwing sticks. Oh, okay. Okay. The screamer. Yeah. Like like beaten sticks. It's a little small. Yeah, they, they, they let them. They let them. But I wonder what we can use in. it for. Yeah. Let's but think of know. something we can do with it. Hold on. Hold on, Gerard. We're describing Steve Blackman here. I was reading the. <laughs> Steve Blackman brought hitting sticks with him into the wrestling ring, and everybody they was like, "Hitting, hitting." Oh my bad. Hit beaten sticks. Yeah, they, he did. But other people had weapons, right? Like. uh Huh. Like your yeah. grandma. <laughs> one guy. Imagine one guy's like, I'm the one with a gun. Yeah, wait, hold on. Wait. Because Vega had a claw. He was the only one in Street Fighter 2, right? So, yeah, and he's an evil cheater. That's a good point. Uh, wait a minute. Who else back in the day, like, always brought a weapon to the ring? Undertaker? You have a sword for a while? Just kill everyone that came no, in the ring with him? No, he never did. Put that thing through their back? He had an urn to intimidate his enemies. He'd be like, you're going <laughs> to... I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna cremate you respectfully, oh, and then carry you around like my bird. Have a nice service. Maybe you're right, dude. I don't know. Maybe you're right. <laughs> the Undertaker man 
such a cool wrestler my whole childhood as as somebody who definitely is not like a wwe boy like <laughs> only got it through the like how big the attitude area area mm-hmm. the attitude area truly got right. huge area right uh just huge area of effect. when i was when i was young right i bought wcw versus nwo or whatever that yeah uh, right right S4 the moment that he like oh dropped character for the first time on camera i'm like he's a pussycat oh uh, yeah it's true yeah Seems like a nice guy. He's like, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to be nice. No, what you're just, asking, no, what you're talking I'm about. Just roll from you're, you're talking about when he became the American badass. I'm yeah, talking, no, I'm talking about like that. just a few, like a year ago when oh. he's like finally doing interviews and stuff. Now I'm like, <laughs> you're just a Ted, goofball. Ted, for the love of God, right now, I want you to play one of the videos in which you could pay for a cameo. Oh my God. A cameo from The Undertaker. <laughs> It's, it is the fucking best thing ever. The one about the grandma, dude. It's like, I just wanted to wish you a late, belated, happy 91st birthday. Good lord. 91. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't. He reads cameos and he's like, I hear your grandma's doing well. 93 years old, brother. You're just like, is he in character? Yeah. Yes, he is. He's like, Jason. I heard your grandmother's doing well. I hope she rests. I hope she rests. No, wait, 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 wait. That sounds bad. Wait. It's like literally like that. And he's, he's like, you can hear it, it like wash over him as he's saying it too, which is like the best part. There's a moment oh, where he's just, he has a moment of like, he shouldn't laugh, but he does. He'll, he'll rest. He'll rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> can we even show the, are we gonna get we, in trouble no, it's it's a tiktok can it's, we, hi, I, I can we, we hire him so i can like have him oh we can give a shout out to like pearl onions and then at the end he can say i hope they rest in peace <laughs> can we yeah, rest in peace with a little bit of gravy with a little bit of butter yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right next time on beer pros uh we're gonna open the episode with a cameo from mark calloway oh my God. see you guys soon bye